What's up guys, my name's Brandon, and today Apple released iOS 16.6 Beta 3 to registered developers and soon for public beta testers. Now along with this release, Apple also dropped the third beta for iPadOS 16.6, macOS 13.5, watchOS 9.6, tvOS 16.6, and HomePodOS 16.6. And if you're wondering about the second beta for iOS 17, stay tuned to the end of this video. We will talk about when to expect that release. But anyways, you can see the size here. I did install this on a new device, so it is rather large. But if you're installing this from beta 2, going from beta 2 to beta 3, it will be around 500 megabytes, maybe even less. So let's go ahead and check out the build number for this new update, settings general about 16.6. And you can see the new build number is 20G5047D. So we do still have a D at the end of the build number, just like we had in beta 2, which is pretty interesting. Now, if we go back, the modem firmware has been updated from 3.70.01 to 3.80.00. We also see a change for the iPhone 14 series going from 1.80.00 to 1.80.01. All right, so now what's new here in iOS 16.6 beta 3? And the first thing is that this update fixes Apple's lightning to USB 3 camera adapter issue. So this was completely broken in 16.5, but now the 16 16.6 betas fix that issue with Apple's official camera adapter. Now also the announced notifications when you have your AirPods in has been fixed. So that was broken in beta one and it appears that beta two and now beta three have addressed that issue. We also have a couple of changes in the code on the back end. Thanks to Steve Moser for finding these. We can see that this update adds support for the new MacBook Air, Mac Studio, and Mac Pro when seeing them on the network. And then we also have some minor changes to the verbiage in the wallet application related to the dispute status. Now, of course, one of the biggest new features that is most likely coming in 16.6 is contact key verification. So in beta one, when you searched for contact key, it would show the contact key verification for messages in the search results here. And when you would click on it, it would not go anywhere. But Apple removed that in beta two, and it is still gone in beta three. So I'm not sure if Apple is planning to release that feature in 16.6. It was there in beta one. It was in the code and it was also just, you know, inside of settings in beta one. So it's still yet to be seen if that will be included in the final release of 16.6. But that was really the only major change or major feature that we've seen so far on the 16.6 betas. Now, we also still do not have the screen recording via Siri. We had that in 16.5 beta one, but we have not had that since that first beta of 16.5. And it's also not in the iOS 17 betas. I tried it. And so this is just a very mysterious you know, feature that was just somehow magically in 16.5 beta one and then just never seen again. So we'll have to wait and see if that maybe comes in iOS 16, maybe a later version of iOS 17, or it could have just been a big mistake from Apple to include that to begin with. Maybe that was never even supposed to see the light of day. And since I always talk about it, we need to talk about the notification center bug. So when you swipe up and yes, you can see that that bug is still there in the notification center. It's just very laggy. Now this has been fixed in iOS 17, thankfully, but it looks like if you're on iOS 16, you're just going to have to deal with this issue for the remaining, you know, life of iOS 16. And especially if you have an iPhone 10 or iPhone 8, you cannot get iOS 17. So you may just have to deal with this, you know, until the end of time with that device because Apple seems to have no interest in fixing this bug. And if we take a look at the release notes for beta three, they are exactly the same as beta two. So we have the known issue relating to pairing your first matter accessory in a new home. And then we also have a known issue with Xcode. Now, I did also want to touch on Tap to Pay launching in more stores later this year. So stores like Sephora, Louis Vuitton, Tiffany, Celine, and Dior, all those stores later this year will accept Tap to Pay. So it's going to allow you to go into the store, buy something, and then tap to pay with you know another iPhone, maybe an iPhone they have behind the counter, and you're going to be able to tap to pay for your merchandise using you know NFC. So that'll be cool to see. It's not just going to be 
in Apple stores anymore. It's going to be rolling out to other stores. Of course, it's the high end stores to begin with, but this will probably roll out to all stores eventually. Also, Apple just finally opened up their new flagship London store in London's Battersea Power Station. And what's cool about this is that this whole store was converted from a former coal fired power station into this new fancy flagship Apple store. It took a long time and a lot of work, but the pictures look pretty awesome and the history there is pretty cool too. So if you're out in London, go check that out. But as far as anything else goes in iOS 16.6 specifically, there's really nothing here. And you know, I like to bring you guys these updates just to let you know that a new update has been released. And even if there's nothing major involved in the update, I still like to keep you guys as up to date as possible with these videos. Now we do need to talk about the performance and the battery life because performance for a lot of people has been fine on 16.6 and you know even here in beta 3 I would not expect no different I would expect it to be about the same as beta 2 but battery life some people did have issues with battery life in a beta 2 so with beta 3 you might not see any improvement to that but let me know in a comment down below if you're using 16.6 on your main device let me know if battery life is any better here with beta 3 this of course is not my main device since I am testing iOS 17 betas now so I'll be curious to see what you guys say for those who are still using this on a daily basis so I just ran a quick Geekbench 6 test here on my iPhone 12 Pro Max this is the new device I'm testing these iOS 16 betas on which there's not gonna be many left but anyway we got a 2132 on the single core and a 5067 on the multi-core all right so now let's talk about what to expect next from Apple so next up is most likely going to be iOS 16.6 beta 4 I know there's not much new in these beta updates but since we still have a D at the end of the bill number that leads me to believe that we are still going to see another beta before the RC release and I think we could actually still be on a two week cycle given the fact that we have a D at the end of the build number so going into this week I thought that you know we're going to get beta 3 this week and then I thought beta 4 potentially next week but now I'm thinking we may not see beta 4 until the week of the 26th now of course Apple could always change things at any time but this is just my guess so if that is the case then we should see the RC build the following week one week after that which is the week of july 3rd and then if that is the case we should see the final release of 16.6 on the week of july 10th and then we've also seen references to 16.5.1 so we could actually see an ios 16.5.1 before the final release of 16.6 now i think that the only way we will see a 16.5.1 is if it comes out next week so the week of the 19th of June 19th I think if we do not see a 16.5.1 by next week we're probably just not going to see that at all and anything that would have been included in that update will just be pushed to 16.6 but next week seems like it is a possibility for a 16.5.1 for those who are not running a iOS 17 beta or an iOS 16 beta this is just going to be a public release for those who are on iOS 16.5 at the moment and then for those on iOS 17 we should see the second developer beta next week that same week of June 19th now the public beta that's probably going to come out after the third developer beta sorry there's a lot of numbers going on here but the third developer beta should come out two weeks after the second beta so on the week of July 3rd is when we could see that third developer beta and then we should see the first public beta on the week of July 10th maybe right there on July 10th so I know I've thrown a lot of dates and a lot of numbers at you I hope you're following along but anyway that is the expected schedule for Apple in terms of software in the coming few weeks but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video there wasn't really a ton to talk about but I hope you still found at least some value in it if you did let me know in a comment down below and also give this video a thumbs up if you want to stay updated with all iOS updates regardless of how major or minor but anyways guys thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon